Today I'm going to find out whether or not you can charge a 2022 Tesla Model Y long range, plugging it directly into a solar powered Airstream travel trailer. Let's see if it works. <laughs> Airstream travel trailers are a classic American icon designed for camping and outdoor adventures of all types. They're constructed from a lightweight aluminum that makes them highly durable and resistant to weather and wear. These travel trailers are also highly customizable with a wide range of interior amenities available that allow you to tailor the space to your needs and your preferences. Some of the features commonly found in Airstreams include roomy sleeping quarters, full kitchen areas with cooking appliances, built-in storage spaces, and integrated plumbing systems for added convenience. An Airstream was the perfect choice for myself and others who want to enjoy all the modern conveniences of a smart home, but on the go. These space-efficient and easily towable trailers feature state-of-the-art technological amenities like smart climate control systems, high-speed internet connectivity, and integrated entertainment systems. With these features and more, Airstreams are the ideal way to stay connected with the world while still enjoying time in nature. Airstreams are, in my opinion, the modern home of the future with everything needed for daily life without the constraints of staying in one location. The Tesla Model Y Long Range is a high-performance all-battery electric vehicle that's growing in popularity at a very fast pace. This particular electric car features advanced technologies like all-wheel drive, autonomous driving capabilities, and an advanced battery system that can provide up to 330 miles of range on a single charge. The Model Y also comes with a semi-luxurious interior with premium amenities like heated seats, vegan leather upholstery, and an intuitive infotainment system with touchscreen controls. This has been by far my favorite vehicle to drive. My experience with the car so far is that it's a reliable daily driver and a versatile road trip companion. So right now I'm inside an Airstream Classic 33FB. It's a 2022 model. And this Airstream has three solar panels on the roof, which is connected to a 1000 watt lithium ion battery in the front of the coach. It also is plugged into the campground's electricity. So when I don't need solar and I don't need to run off the battery, I'm normally plugged into the campsite electricity. So the way this is gonna go is I'm gonna unplug shore power. I'm gonna make sure there's electricity running from the solar panels to the battery. And I'm gonna plug in the Tesla directly into a wall outlet that's on the outside of the Airstream. I'll check the app and see if it's charging. I'll also check out the display inside the Airstream that will tell me the condition of the battery and whether or not solar is going into the battery and we'll see if it works I have no idea if this will work I don't know if it's gonna be enough electricity to charge it at all I don't even know if it'll start charging so I'm gonna go outside I'm gonna unplug shore power that brings electricity to the Airstream that'll make everything run off solar and the battery then I'm gonna plug in the Tesla to the Airstream itself let's see what happens Okay, I'm back in the Airstream. I just turned off the shore power. It's gonna get hot in here real quick because it's in the summer months in Florida. It's a pretty sunny day. We got some clouds going on, but now that I'm back inside, I'm gonna see if uh, there's electricity running from solar to the battery. I'm gonna check this little uh, display here to see how everything's going so far. Have not plugged in the Tesla quite yet. Okay, checking out the display here for the battery and the solar charge. The solar is on the bottom right. It's showing we're getting 13.65 volts going through at 8.8 .8 amps. The battery's already at 100% because when I was plugged in short power, that also charges the battery. But nothing's plugged in yet. I'm gonna go outside, plug in the Tesla, and see what happens with the battery and the solar.
I'm back inside because I just plugged in the mobile charger into the Airstream outlet on the outside. Looks like there's no current going through, so I'm not sure if that's because the inverter that's attached to the battery and the Airstream is not on. So I'm gonna turn that on and see if that gives any juice to the plug outside. So I'm in the car. It wasn't charging before when it was just working off the solar and the battery. But when I did turn the shore power back on from that plug in the Airstream outside, then it started to work. So now we're charging, it looks about four miles an hour, 12 amps, 108 volts. Okay, so I'm back inside in good timing too because it started to rain out there. I plugged everything in, everything was set up the way it was supposed to be. And so can you charge a Tesla Model Y directly into a solar powered Airstream Classic using its battery? Well, no, but sort of yes. So what happened was, when I unplugged the shore power, I made sure the solar was going to the battery in the Airstream. The battery was looking good. The state of charge was at 100%. It was getting continual charge from solar. I plugged in the mobile connector for the Tesla that I normally use to charge the car into the outlet on the outside of the Airstream. And so what normally happens when you plug the mobile connector in, there's a little box that's near the plug that will have the word Tesla uh, light up green if there's enough energy going through it so that wasn't happening so it looked like it wasn't getting any electricity now I know that plug outside works for smaller things so what I think happened was there wasn't enough electricity going to the plug so what I did was I went and turned the shore power back on I left the mobile charger in the same plug once that shore power was turned on again it did work so at that point I believe it was using shore power plus the energy it gets from solar and the battery. Maybe anybody who's out there who's an electrician can, can help me out and tell me if this is true, but I believe that there is shared energy between solar, the battery, and shore power. So maybe it had some assistance with the battery and solar, but just on the battery and the solar alone wasn't enough to make the mobile connector work. The battery and the solar on the roof of the Airstream power everything that I've used in here so far. Lights, fridge, plugs, but the air conditioners don't. So maybe it's a similar situation where it just doesn't have enough juice. Who knows? So if you're an expert on this kind of thing, comment on this video. Let me know what you think happened or what might be a good solution to use somehow the solar that's on this Airstream, the battery, to somehow power that mobile connector or any kind of um, Tesla charger that might be out there. I hope you guys liked this video. It was a fun experiment for me. Although it's a little bit disappointing that I can't plug the um, the car into an off-grid situation using just the battery. It is kind of neat that I can plug it into the Airstream anyway, and maybe it's sharing electricity that it gets from solar, so maybe it'll be a little bit uh, cost-saving if I were to use that plug. But I'm gonna go back to plugging the car back into the campground electricity just to make sure everything's running right. If you guys have suggestions on how to make that work, or if you have other ideas that you'd like me to try, with the Tesla that's here and this Airstream, let me know. I love off-grid stuff, I love solar energy, I love electric vehicles, so anything that you guys might think would be cool to share with um, that Tesla and Airstream combo, let me know, I'll make a video, I'll put it out there for you. Hope you guys have a good one, see you on the next one.